is a quadrat that we use for plant sampling. So it's a meter by a meter. And then within this, we would identify all the different plant species. So we have some balsam root, got some Oregon grape, we've got some uh, milk, timber milk pitch. So I study uh, what ecosystems that are adapted to fire look like, how we can restore them, and how ecosystems recover from fire. Barron spends much of her time in the field in places like Knox Mountain, where a wildfire on Canada Day, July 1st, 2023, burned almost seven hectares and prompted evacuation orders for some residents in the area. In our community wildfire resiliency plan, the the area of Knox Mountain Park around Magic Estates is one of our highest priorities in the city to make sure that we're fuel, make, fuel mitigated around. I'm still hitting duff, still hitting duff, still hitting duff. The city of Kelowna has partnered with UBCO to study the best way to use proactive management treatments like prescribed burns to reduce wildfire risk. Barron also wants to learn the best way to restore the native fire adapted plants to the region. So we're interested in uh, reducing the number of invasive plants, how we can encourage native plants to regenerate and also some interactions with grazing from deer. Barron says as much as 90% of the area burned by the 2023 Knox Mountain fire has regrown with invasive species. Um, we're trying to understand how these fuel treatments can help reduce future fire behavior and also looking at places where wildfires have burned in past treated areas to see whether the fuel treatments helped reduce the fire behavior. Yeah, the area we're standing in right now, it surprised me how many invasives moved, invasive plants moved in. It was a very high severity wildfire. And then interested in seeing if we have low severity impacts, uh, things are light touch, if we get a reduction in invasive species from that. Barron says the ongoing fuel mitigation work by the city on Knox Mountain and other city parks like Dilworth Mountain has been helpful in reducing the severity of fires like the one in 2023. Fire area we also know from conversations with BC Wildfire Service in the city that the previous treated area did help support operations in terms of helping firefighters get in here and suppress the fire. However, it was also a very severe wildfire given the conditions it burned under and that had pretty detrimental community or detrimental impacts to the understory plant community. So there's a lot of invasive plants here. Um, native plants haven't really had a good chance to establish and so we're curious to see after the prescribed fire how these plants uh, might come back, whether low severity fire might help them recover better or whether we might need other management interventions to remove the invasives. The long-term goal of the study is to actually find out what is here, what's natural and what's invasive and then to make sure that places like Knox Mountain Park that have experienced fires in the past can experience them in the future, but in as safe a way as possible. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.